might see the entire surgical procedure of the coronary advanced flap plus the connective tissue graft. The cement enamel junction has been restored with the composite restoration first. So now we have to measure gingival recession in the middle. Add one millimeter because we want to advance the flap one millimeter more above the uh, corner to the cement enamel junction. Now the, play, the patient is resting. We place our graft on our surgical drape. It should be a rough surgical drape, not smooth, otherwise there is risk of movement of the graft on the drape. And first of all, we check the inner aspect of this graft from the presence of fatty and glandular tissue. It's easy to recognize the fatty tissue because it's yellow. It's less easy to recognize the glandular tissue, but it's easy to remove because it's very, very loose.